Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details, and today I'm going to share with you guys a quick tutorial on how to easily deep clean your WeatherTech mats. First, we're going to give them a really good rinse with a pressure washer. That is going to help blast a lot of the dirt in those seams out as best as we can. A standard hose might do the trick, but you really want to benefit from that high pressure to blast the dirt out. Then we're going to come in with my favorite, McKees 37, their floor mat and cargo liner rejuvenator. While most people use any sort of standard degreaser or APC, I find this does a little bit better of a job of cleaning as well as leaving the mats with a dressed appearance. If they're not too dirty or you don't have a lot of mud or clay or road salt, this oftentimes is all you need to deep clean your WeatherTech mats. But my biggest issue with WeatherTech mats is that sometimes they can be prone to staining. Um, especially clay and mud. Sometimes it will leave a faded appearance or if you just have a lot of impact from your shoes, it will kind of wear down the plastic coating on top of these mats and leave a faded appearance behind. And if that's your mats, keep watching because I'll share with you guys my favorite dressing for these mats that will not make them slippery. But for most of you, this may be all you need. Oddly enough, I've never seen this on a WeatherTech mat before. It looks like there's rust, which it's plastic very weird. We're going to do a quick experiment. I'm going to see if reactive rust remover can help remove some of the orange rust stains from our plastic mats. Yeah, you should see my face right now. It's just very confused. Normally this stuff isn't super safe on plastic trim, but we've got gummy fix that we can use. It's definitely reacting you can actually see that's the first time i've ever seen rust on a weather tech mat we'll try using our drill brush and see if we can kind of break that bond that is definitely very bizarre. Now, while this may not be a common problem that most people are gonna see on their mats, I wanted to include how to address an issue like this for the off chance that you might have this issue. Now that I've got that all over my shoes, give this a rinse. I don't know if this will work. And it looks like we removed the rust. Hot damn, it worked. Sometimes, I impress even myself. But who would have ever heard of rust on a WeatherTech mat? But we definitely want to use our gummy fix afterwards to dress because I have a feeling we'll still have some light staining. There was a lot of salt, a lot of mud, and these mats just kind of have like a, a faded appearance in general. So we're gonna go ahead, let those air dry in the shade, and then we'll go ahead and dress. We're going to use Koshimi Gummy Fix to dress our mats. This is a solvent-based product, so make sure you have good ventilation, but this will leave your mats slip-free and it won't attract dust. In comparison to our mat that hasn't been treated, you can see where the customer's shoes have kind of rubbed off the clear coat. We have a faded appearance. And then on our treated mat, we've been able to remove that. So you can see how we were able to restore that like new luster. And even though they are clean, we do have a little bit of fading still. For those who have invested in WeatherTech mats and want to get the most out of your investment, or if you're a professional detailer looking to give your customers an end result that they're going to be blown away with, this is definitely a must-have in your arsenal. Now we've been able to remove all that faded appearance on our mats and they look like new. So you can see from our before pictures, these were extremely faded. They had a lot of mud, salt, and rust on these. And even inside of the vehicle, it just gave it kind of a nasty appearance. Afterwards, everything looks nice and fresh and clean. It's really going to give you that wow factor for your WeatherTech mats. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe and follow for future videos, and we'll see you in the next detail.